Okay, so now that at nightfall has, is here, we are going to go through the next steps. We're going to go get into focus and then polar align. And then once we're polar aligned, then we'll go to our target and start guiding and doing our imaging session to the Dark Shark Nebula. So we'll go here into ASI Air. And what I do is I do a quick preview shot to see how, if I'm in focus or out of focus, most likely I'm probably out of focus right now since I was working on another project. And I am, so, yep. So, okay, so now to get into focus and what I'll do is, is I am going to go to the mount and I have my batten off mask and my dew shield and they basically go on top of one another and I will then come back use the EAF and get everything into focus so be right back okay so the shield and mask are on so what I normally do is, is I'll go to a bright star in this case since it's summertime I'll go to Vega and I can do that directly here within the ASI Air. I can use its catalog to do a go-to. So I already have it plugged in because this is the common star that I use. And now I'll just do simply a go-to. And the mount is right now slewing. And what it'll do is it'll take, once it gets there, it'll take a snapshot do a quick polar alignment to make sure that it's centered and in the right area and if it's not it'll make an adjustment and then it'll come back and let me know and then with the mask on I'll be able to see how far out of focus I am okay I'm... all right so Looking here, as you can see, I am out of, out of focus pretty fairly. So I'll go ahead and turn on the focuser on the EAF and I'll switch from preview to focus. And I will start, I am at bin four. And I'm at five seconds in refresh. So we hit the magnifier here. Now I can go ahead and begin. down okay that looks about right that looks about right so let me stop now and go back I'm going to do another quick five second preview and then we'll ex zoom in and see how the diffraction spikes look Nope, I'm in focus. So they're right through the middle. It looks good. Okay, so now that I'm in focus, the next step is move that shield and mask and I'm gonna go pat it, put it back into park, which is it facing Polaris, and then we'll do the polar alignment. So next step. Okay, so now I've taken off the mask and the shield and sent the mount back to zero position, which it should be facing Polaris. So I'll take another quick five second exposure. Okay. And plate solve, if I sink, it should fail. I'm out of range because I'm right within the, the North Celestial Pole. Alright, so now I'll go ahead and go to from preview to PA and go ahead and click start. Now I should already be pretty well polar aligned um, 
so this should not take very long at all so I'll go ahead and click next now it's rotating 60 degrees And then it's going to do another um, test shot and do another plate solve to see how it looks so it can solve. And then I'll go ahead and click let's go. Now, right now, if I was really off, I would go and I would adjust my altitude and my um, azimuth bolt, but the total error is um 54th 54 hundredths of an arc second i guess that's what you want to call it it's less than an arc second um but it's smiling it's happy i'm polar aligned i think i should be fine now if i was off the arrows would tell me where i need to go up means i would have to adjust the altitude a little bit up and the arrow here is pointing left so i would use the left azimuth bolt to adjust that to move in so I get closer but I think right now I'm fine with this so I should be good to go so I'll go ahead and just click finish okay so polar alignment is done so I'll go back to preview here now I can go ahead and head towards the dark shark nebula so since the ASAR Pro's catalog does not include the Bernard catalog or the LDN catalog or any of the other um, catalogs like that. It carries more common catalogs such as IC, Messier, NGC, and, some, and named stars and planets. Um, I'm going to have to manually enter in the um, right ascension and declination of the target. So to do that, I will go to Sky Safari. Okay. And so I should be able to just connect. Yep, I'm connected. So I'm going to switch my scope display. And now I'll look for the Dark Shark Nebula. And that is LDN 1235. Oh, sorry about that. Actually, I wanted to show how we do it with the ASI Air Pro instead of going through Sky Safari. So let me get that information here. Okay, so RA 2216, and I'll say two seconds, 22 hours, 16 minutes, and two seconds. Declination 73 degrees, 29 and 9, 29 and 9. So let's take care of the RA first. So 22, 16, and 2. So we'll go there, and we'll select the RA, and we'll go in 22, is it 16, and I said 2, right? So yeah, I think it was, it was 2. Okay, done. Now I'll go back to Sky Safari and get the deck. 73, 29, and 9. 73, 29, and 9. Twenty nine and nine done. All right, now I can do a go to straight from here. It wasn't that far actually. So now to do the same thing it did for um, the polar alignment and everything like that, it'll validate and it's centered. Alright, 
so I am centered in the area where I should be. I will take a couple test shots to see where I am at in framing, but we're not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you the guiding. So once you hit your target, we'll go to guide. And we will start up our guiding. And usually on the nights, I'll clear calibration and I will let it select the target and begin calibration. Okay, so. To recap, now we have gone through focusing, we've gone through the polar alignment, we've done the go-to using the ASIR Pro, manually going to the RA and the declination, and now we're doing the guiding and we're right now going through calibration. So what we'll do now is we'll pause for a second, let this calibrate, and then I'll just do some test shots to see where I'm where I'm at there and then we can go through the final steps so almost done okay so calibration is done and now we're guiding so let's take a look here and guiding is is, is good Guiding's pretty good it's around a six tenths of an arc second a little bit more closer to seven tenths but it's going to fluctuate hopefully it'll drop a little bit but I think this is this is good guiding um, so now that we're guiding the next thing and final thing to do is start our auto run so we will go to auto run here and I already have it set up so what you'll want to do is you'll put in your target information so LDN 1235 for this if you notice down at the bottom you have a before meridian that lets you know when the meridian flip is scheduled to happen so if it's um, before your estimated time of completion you want to turn meridian flip on and what that does is once it gets to this point this two hour and 42 minutes um, a little bit before then it will stop guiding it will stop imaging it will tell the mount to do the meridian flip and once it is done with the meridian flip it will take a test shot and it'll plate solve to make sure it's back in the position the RA and declination it what previously was at before it did the flip once it's checked that out and made sure it's centered then it will restart guiding find a new guide star begin this, this uh, guiding process and once guiding has begun then it'll continue with the auto run and start back up your imaging so we have that set there and I also have it set to go to home um, which means it's going to go back to zero position and now we just simply press the button here confirm the go to the go to home position and now we're off and that's it so i hope this was helpful for everyone who is interested in the asir pro and how it works um thank you for joining me if you have any comments or questions please just feel free to drop those into the comment section um if you like this video Please don't forget to subscribe and press like and ring the bell to let you know that a new video is out um, so you're alerted. Um, also, don't forget every Wednesday at 9 o'clock to join me, Dan, and Jason for Astro World TV. So, until next time, clear skies, and don't forget, only when it's dark enough can you see the stars. Take care, everyone.